when we're looking at the sort of service we offer, one of the benchmarks when we're looking at how we deliver that service is to see whether that's something you would be comfortable with yourself, whether your friends and family in particular would be. Uh, what you want to do really is to make sure that you're given the service you would want those closest to you to receive. The most important part is the structure you take, how thorough you are with the case, but potentially just as important really is the approach you take, how personable you are with the client, making sure they get the most from their experience throughout the case. If my best friend, for example, asked me to, to represent him at court, I'd be more than happy to do that, purely because I know that from, from doing this over a number of years now, the, the approach that, that we take here is the right approach. We, we have to approach it as though every client is in need of the same level of service you would want a member of your family, your best friend to have. Value for money is, is a key issue for all clients and it's something that we recognise and we need to make sure that the client is satisfied from the beginning really that they're going to get what we say we're going to deliver. So we, we're transparent in, in the level of service we want to offer. We will tell them at the outset exactly what we propose to do in the case, but it's very important obviously to deliver on that. It, it doesn't just come down to legal knowledge, it comes down to what you put into the case, uh, the level of interaction you might get with your solicitor, your case handler, and we can even offer tiered services to reflect that. We can try and deal with fixed fee packages to ensure that you feel you are getting more value for money. And, and really it's about making sure the client gets what we say we're gonna to give to them. It may be the case that people say to us, well, the fees you are looking to charge are actually more expensive than, than I would like to pay. Clearly there are a few issues that we need to consider when somebody says that to us. We're confident that we, the work we put into the case reflects the fee that we charge. And we try to be as competitive as possible to make sure the client gets value for money. It may be that somebody comes to us and says, well, somebody down the road is, is looking to charge half as much. That's fine, but you've got to ask yourself, what are you compromising to go with that reduced rate? We're confident that the fees that we've arrived at clearly provide a good reflection of where we are, what service we, we provide, and also make sure the client feels they're getting value for money. It's vital really to have proper and correct legal advice. It's, it's fundamental to, to any interaction with your lawyer. We have to look at what the client is looking to achieve. In order for us to deliver that for the client, we need to, we need to know the law, it's as simple as that. To take a blanket approach is extremely dangerous, so the knowledge that we need to have is extremely important to the objective that you're looking to achieve. We know exactly what the magistrates will be considering when they're looking at what sentence to impose, and we know exactly what to present to help them reach what we feel is the right decision. Personally, I've been, I've been dealing with motion offences for in excess of 10 years now since I entered the legal profession. We also have a number of other solicitors here who, who can probably, probably outstrip that in terms of experience. General crime is an area that does take in motion offences as part of what they do, part of the daily work they have. Specialist motion offences is a different approach. My background is from mass specialism, particularly looking towards these offences. It is different to other criminal offences and you do need to have that level of specialism when you're looking to instruct someone. 